Happy birthday, YouTube. I know you're headquartered in San Bruno, California, and you were created by three former PayPal employees a month ago. But it was on this day that the web page or domain name www.youtube.com was purchased or established. And um, let's see, and thanks for letting, or I, I guess using, what is it? Um, The um, Python and proprietary JavaScript to help make sure everybody and anybody can, you know, post whatever they want to share or say, whether it's live feed, streaming. Um, thanks to Chad Hurley, Steve Chen, and Jawed Kareem. I know you all work at as PayPal employees. It's um, Chad had studied design at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, while the other two, Mr. Chan and Mr. Karim, studied computer science together at the University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign. And according to a story that is often repeated in the media, Hurley and Chan developed the idea for YouTube during the early months of 2005 after they had experienced difficulty sharing videos that had been shot at a dinner party at Chen's apartment in San Francisco. Karim did not attend the party and denied that it had occurred, but Chen commented that the idea that YouTube was founded after a dinner party what quote, was probably very strengthened by marketing ideas around creating a story that was very digestible." Unquote. Grimm said that said the inspiration for YouTube first came from Janet Jackson's role in a 2004 Super Bowl incident when her breast was exposed during her performance and later from the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. Karim could not easily find video clips of either event online which led to the idea of a video sharing site. Hurley enchanted that the original idea for YouTube was a video version of an online dating service and had been influenced by the website Hot or Not. <coughs> He began as a venture-funded technological startup, primarily from $11.5 million investment by Sequoia Capital between November 2005 and April 2006. Your early headquarters were situated above a pizzeria and Japanese restaurant in San Mateo, California, and of course your domain name was activated on this day, and the website was developed over the subsequent months. Your first video, Me at the Zoo, which shows co-founder Jawed Karim at the San Diego Zoo, was uploaded April 23rd. Well, I feel like we celebrated later. And his math, I don't know how many million hits as I speak. He didn't go public in the beta test until May, six months before the initial launch in November. You grew rapidly and in July of 2006 announced that more than 65,000 new videos were being uploaded every day and you received 100 million views per day. That, yeah, literally 100 million video views. And according to data published by market research company Comscore, you are the main dominant provider of online video in the United States for market share of about 43% and more than 14 billion views of videos in May 2010. 300 hours of new video are uploaded to the site every minute, three times more than one year earlier, and that around three quarters of the material comes from outside the U.S. You have about 800 million unique views, users a month. In, in 2007, consumed as much bandwidth as the entire internet in the year 2000. Alexa ranks you as the third most visited website on the internet behind Google and Facebook. The choice of the name www.youtube.com led to problems from a similar name website www.utube.com. The site's owner, Universal Tube and Roll Form Equipment, bought a lawsuit in November 2006 after being regularly overloaded by people looking for UYOU Tube. And Universal Tube has since changed its name of the website to youtubeonline.com. In October 2006, Google Inc. announced that it required you for $1.65 billion in Google stock and was finalized November 13th. Your revenues in 2007 were noted as not material and regulatory filing. In June 2008, a Forbes magazine article provided the 2008 revenue at $200 million, noting progress. In advertising sales in January 2012, it was estimated that visitors to YouTube spend an average of 15 minutes a day on the site in contrast to the four or five hours a day spent by a typical U.S. citizen watching TV. You entered into a marketing and advertising partnership with NBC in June 2006. In November 2008, you reached an agreement with MGM, Lionsgate Entertainment, and CBS allowing the companies to post full-length films and television special episodes on the site accompanied by advertisements in a section for U.S. viewers called Shows. 
The move was initiated to create competition with websites such as Hulu, which featured material from NBC, Fox, and Disney. In November 2009, YouTube launched a version of shows available to UK viewers around over offering around 4,000 full-length shows from more than 600 part 60 partners. In January 2010, YouTube introduced an online film rental service, which is available only to users in Canada, UK, and the United States as of 2010, and the service offers over 6,000 films. In March 2010, you began free streaming of certain content, including 60 cricket matches of the Indian Premier League. According to YouTube, this is the first worldwide free online broadcast of major sporting event. And on March 13th, 2010, you launched a new web design with the aim of simplifying the interface and increasing the time users spent on the site. Product manager Shiva Ra Raja Raman commented, quote, we really felt like we needed to step back and remove the clutter, unquote. In May 2010, it was reported that YouTube was serving more than 2 billion, vi vi 2 billion videos a day, which is described as nearly double the primetime audience of all three major U.S. Net television networks combined. In May 2011, YouTube reported in its company blog the site was receiving more than 3 billion views per day. In January 2012, YouTube started that the figures had increased to 4 billion video streams per day. And in October 2010, Hurley announced that he would be stepping down as Chief Executive Officer of YouTube to take an advisory role and that Salar Kamangar would take over as head of the company. In April 2011, James Zern, a YouTube software engineer, revealed that 30% of the videos accounted for 99% of views on the site. In November 2011, the Google Plus social networking site was integrated directly with YouTube and the Chrome web browser, allowing YouTube videos to be viewed from within the Google Plus interface. In December 2011, YouTube launched a new version of the site interface with the video channels displayed in the central column on the home page, similar to news feeds of social networking sites. At the same time, a new version of the YouTube logo was introduced with a darker shade of red, the first change on its design since October 2006. In May 2013, YouTube launched a pilot program that began offering some content providers the ability to charge a 99 cents per month or more for certain channels, but the vast majority of its videos would remain free to view. Um, in 2010, you, you launched an experimental version of the site that uses built-in multimedia capabilities of web browsing, supporting the HTML5 standard, which allows videos to be viewed without requiring Adobe Flash Player or any other plugin to be installed. You have a page that allows supporters to browse in option on the HTML5 trial. Um, on January 27, 2015, you announced that HTML5 will be the default payback method on supported browsers. Supported browsers including Google Chrome, Safari 8, and Internet Explorer 11. You experimented with dynamic ad ad adaptive streaming over HTTP MPEG Dash, which is an adaptive bitrate HTTP based streaming solution optimizing the bitrate and quality for the available availability network. Currently, they are using Adobe Dynamic Streaming for Flash. All YouTube users can upload videos up to 15 minutes each in duration. Users who have a good track record of compliance with the site's community guidelines may be offered the ability to upload videos up to 12 hours in length, which requires verifying the account normally through a mobile phone. When YouTube was launched in 2005, it was possible to upload long videos, but a 10-minute limit was introduced in March 2006 after YouTube found that the majority of videos exceeded its length when authorized uploads to television shows and films. The 10-minute limit was increased to 15 minutes in July 2010 if an up-to-date browser version is used. Videos greater than 20 gigabytes can be uploaded. You accept videos uploaded in most container formats, including AVI, MKV, MOV, MP4, DIVX, FLV, and OGG and OGV. These include video formats such as MPEG4, MPEG, VOB, and WMV. It also supports 3GP, allowing videos to be uploaded from mobile phones. Videos with progressive scanning or interlaced scanning can be uploaded, but for the best quality, YouTube suggests interlaced videos be interla inter de interlaced before uploading, and all the video formats on YouTube use progressive scanning. YouTube originally offered videos on one quality level, displayed a resolution of 320 to 340, I'm sorry, 320 to 240 pixels using the Sorensen Spark codec, a variant of H.263, with mono MP3 audio, but in June 2007 you added an option to watch videos in 3GP format on mobile phones in March 2008. High quality mode was added, which included the resolution to 480 times 360 pixels. Well, I, I can digress, but in a video posted in July 21st, 2009, YouTube software engineer Peter Bradshaw announced that YouTube users can now upload 3D videos, which can be viewed in several different ways, including the common anaglyph or cyan red lens method, with utilized glasses worn by viewers to achieve the 3D effect, and the YouTube flash player can be displayed stereoscopic content interweaven, interleaved, interleaved, Leaved. 
in rows, columns, or a checkerboard pattern side by side or anaglyph using a red, cyan, green, magenta, or blue, yellow combination. In May 2011, HTML5 version of the YouTube player began supporting side by side 3D footage that's compatible with NVIDIA 3D Vision. I could go on about the content accessibility, platforms. I know that in terms of localization, on June 19, 2007, Google CEO Eric Schmidt was in Paris to launch a new localization system. The interface of the website is available for localized version in 75 countries, one territory, Hong Kong, and a worldwide version. Um, access to YouTube was blocked in Turkey between 2008 and 2010 following controversy over the posting of videos deemed insulting to Mustafa Kemal, editor, and some material offense to Muslims in October 2012. A local version of YouTube was launched in Turkey with the domain name youtube.com.tr and the local version is subject to the content regulations found in Turkish law. In March 2009, a dispute between YouTube and the British Royalty Collection Agency M. PRS for music led to premier music videos being blocked for YouTube users in the United Kingdom. The removals of videos posted by the majority where the major record companies occurred after failing to reach an agreement on a licensing deal. The dispute resolved in September 2009 and in April 2009 a similar dispute led to the removal of premier premium music videos for users in Germany. On November 12, 2014, YouTube announced the launch of Music Key, the subscription music service streaming service writing an advertising free playback of official music videos hosted by YouTube along with background and offline playback on mobile platforms. Music Key is intended to integrate with and replace the existing Google Play Music All Access service. Every year since April 1st, 2008, you started rickrolling with Risk Absolute Music Video Never Gonna Give You Up. It's a prank. In 2009, when you clicked on the video on the main page, the whole page turned upside down, claiming that it was a new layout. In 2010, you temporarily re released a text P mode, which translated the colors in the videos to random uppercase letters, and claimed in a message that this was done in order to reduce bandwidth cost by a dollar per second. In 2011, the site celebrated its 100th anniversary with a 1911 button and a range of sepia tone silent early 1900 style films, including Flugelhorn Feline, which is a parody of Keyboard Cat. In 2012, you clicked on an image of a DVD next to the site logo led to a video about the YouTube collection, an option in order every YouTube video for home delivery on DVD, video cassette, Laserdisc, or Betamax tapes, and the spoof promotional video touted the complete YouTube experience completely offline. Uh, last, yeah, 2013, it teamed up with newspaper satire company The Onion to claim that the video sharing website was launched as a contest which has finally come to an end, and when I announced the winner of the contest when the site came back up in 2023, a video of two presenters announcing the nominees streamed live for 12 hours. And just last year, you announced that it was responsible for the creation of all viral video trends and review of previews of upcoming memes such as clocking, kissing dad, and glub glub water dance. Well, your social impact as well. By it, by, yeah. Um. Wow. Yeah, in 2013, videos of the 2.5% artists of artists categorized as mega mainstream or mid-sized received 90.3% of the relevant views on YouTube and Vivo. By early 2013, Billboard had announced that it was factoring YouTube streaming data in the calculation of the Billboard Hot 100 and related genre charts. Ted curator Chris Anderson referred to several YouTube contributors and asserted that what Gutenberg did for writing, online video can now do for face-to-face -face communication. It is the biggest learning cycle in human history. In education, for example, the Khan economy grew from YouTube video tutoring sessions for founder Salman Khan's cousin into what Forbes, Forbes Michael Noah calls, quote, the largest school in the world, unquote, with technology poised to disrupt how people learn. You received the 2008 George Foster Peabody Award, being described as Speaker's Corner that, quote, both embodies and promotes democracy, unquote. A Pew Research Center study reported the development of visual journalism. The CNN YouTube presidential debates of 2007, Arab Spring, Joseph Coney, Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, the White House official YouTube channel. I'm on cross on music video spoof, which, well, I mentioned the Affordable Care Act. 
first there was that um, 2012 movie, Innocence of Muslims. The anti-bullying project it gets better. The Legion of Extraordinary Dancers and YouTube Symphony Orchestra. <coughs> um, revenue sources, well, well, assuming pre-rolled pre advertisements on half of videos, a YouTube partner would earn 0 0.5 times $7.60 times 55% equals $2.09 per 1,000 views in 2013.